then a shootout for top seed tomorrow between Blitzbox, the series leaders, and the USA. But first up, yep, it's Kenya, the eight seeds up against Canada, who are 13 seeds right now. And these two teams will be playing for the minor points on finals day, but they'll be wanting to finish their day one action on a high. And here are the starting seven. Nelson Oyu, the captain for Kenya, looks at Billy Odiambo and Bushamwale to get the go forward for the Kenyans. For Canada, Phil Berner, the captain. Brennan Crebo will do some playmaking in the midfield. And look for young Tom Isherwood and Brock Webster to try and show their best stuff as well. Speaking of best stuff, here they come. Canada and Kenya out onto the national stadium their final game of pool play looking for their first win both these two teams Nelson Oyu leads out Kenya Phil Berner leads out Canada and of course fond memories for Canadians here 2017 went all the way to the title here and I'm very pleased to say I've got a couple of esteemed Canadians alongside me for this one Rugby Hall of Famer Gareth Rees Canada's all-time leading point scorer on the Sevens World Series in history. Nathan Hideyama has joined us. Nathan, how are you? How are you enjoying Singapore? Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks so much for having me. This is a pretty cool setup here. Kind of weird to be on this side of it, but... Uh, <laughs> I bet. But very cool at the same time. I bet. Fond memories of a few years ago lifting oh, the trophy. Man. Amazing memories, of course. Yeah, it's been talked a lot, a lot this week, and I know me and the boys, I was texting a few of them back home asking if, we were, uh, if I was reminiscing a bit, but... Uh, no, what, what a fantastic uh, run that was for us. Uh, three years, no no rugby here in Singapore, so what a lovely lovely event to have here for, for not only the World Series, but the people of Singapore. You've been getting to know a few people, doing a bit of coaching this week, getting to know some local kids, and show them how it's done. Oh, man, I've been just rolling with uh, Sarebi, the, the master, so I've just been following <laughs> suit, and uh, just I'm, I think I'm learning more than the kids. We're underway in pool eight. Kenya right to left, Canada with an opportunity. Early doors, it's Lockie Kratz heading for the try line. Oh, <laughs> what a score! Lockie Kratz. Superman flying in the corner. We'll go upstairs, but how about that? Yeah, Nick Hogan, the New Zealanders, is going to have a look. Is his foot in touch there? He really launched. Oh. What do you reckon, Nathan? Foot on the line? Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know. That's tight. I need to see another angle here. Oh, he's good. Oh, he's good. Awesome. Did he get a hand on it? <laughs> well, the product of Victoria, BC, Nathan, where you did your studying and have been based with the national team. Great moment for Lockie Kratz, and I think he's good for it. There Try it is. awarded. That is absolutely brilliant from Lockie Kratz. You see, that's what happens when you get a couple of Canadian rugby legends alongside. You see stuff like that. Kick to come from wide out. And that is an absolute boomer as well. Here's another look at it. Yeah, he just jumped on that loose ball, didn't he, Nate? The kickoff's so important. Oh, it's so important. I know it's a big thing that these boys work on all the time. I love the little skip step for the jump. He knew he was jumping in there. And here's the man who's taking over your mantle, especially at kickoff time. Kicks with both feet, like you did. Oh, they've got it again. Canada up and running. Yes, you would now. And the Okotoki and thought he might be getting some points as well. But ball goes forward. It'll be a feed for Kenya to the scrum. But what a start. They look like they're up for this one. Have you had a chance to talk to many of the players, mate? I've been messaging a few of them, yeah. I, I know the boys were very pumped up to be here. Um, very pumped up for next week as well. Um, I think they'll be disappointed with how the first two games went, but, man, there's a lot of talent in this squad. A lot of, a lot of these boys uh, have been in the training environment for a while, so I'm really excited for them to get this opportunity. I think just for a little bit more time is all it's going to take. It's been a while since Canada's had their oldest member at 25 years old. You and Harry Jones driving up those numbers there for a while. Here come Kenya. Looking to respond, Daniel Tarabu. Carry from OU into contact. They've loaded over the near side here of Kenya. They 
come in eighth overall, quarter finalists in Dubai. In the opening round of the series. It's an offload out the back, but it goes over the shoulder of Bush and Wale, and Phil Burner's onto it. He of the Snake and Goose podcast sets up the breakdown. Prevo arrives. 7 0 Canada, 4 30 to go. Isherwood picks up the bounce pass. He thought he had his teammate and Gongo with him, but it's gone to deck and it's been hacked ahead by Kenya. And getting back well to save the day, but it's penalty time for Kenya. Defensive time now for Canada. Haven't had to do much of that so far. Brock Webster couldn't keep possession away from Canada from Kenya. Here's Billy Oriambo. Tough to handle through a couple of tackles. Wakesa. Umwale. Umwale. And on the cut is big Herman Humwa. And he just about gets there. Herman Humwa responds for Kenya. The conversion will be the tying score. Well, just a bit too much power for the Canadians in the end. 26 year old plugging away at the line. Nathan, you know these Kenyans, they've got power and pace to spare. It's just a matter of them putting it together. A lot of power and pace. I know this is a team you always got to be up for when you're playing against them. I know in the past, a lot of research we put in to these games because always uh, it's always a one-score one game with Canada and Kenya, and uh, it looks to be that right now. Well, he tripped himself in the end, but he got over the line. And Kenya right back in this one. And Nathan, I've got to ask you, you've got an incredible list of achievements from world cup 15s to being canada's leading scorer but in tokyo or before tokyo you're asked to represent not only the canadian side of uh rugby the whole olympic team you carried the flag into the stadium just tell us what that was like i mean it was such an honor um was shocked when i was asked and uh, it's still hard to fathom so um yeah but just something i'm obviously very very proud of um hopefully a good moment for uh you know my family and the rugby community and um yeah, you know, that's something I, it's hard to really put into words. And do you feel moments like that and when you're out there playing that you were carrying a bit of a burden to try and spread the gospel of rugby, to try and grow the game, to carry that as well as just be going out there and winning games of rugby? Oh, to be honest, not really. No, I was just, just so honoured and grateful for the opportunity. And when, when I got the phone call, like I said, I was shocked. Um, but yeah, no, I, the, the only thing I wish could have been done differently was that my teammates could have been there with me. Yeah, of course, they have a reduced Ooh. amount of athletes walking into the stadium for, for the opener. And uh, Sit. what's happening now? I hear you followed your buddy John Moonlight in uh, a certain profession. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, a, lot of, a lot of new things for me the last six months, but it's, it's awesome being here and being a part of the seven, something that's uh, so important to me. And um, yeah, like I said, a little bit different, but a lot of fun. Well, Kenya's pounding away here, and they found the space. With Kesa up the sideline, the crowd are run behind him. He's going to dot it under the poles. Yeah, good response from Kenya. Hasn't it conceded the first try, but they've hit back. Perhaps not been hitting the straps. We saw them in the double events in Edmonton and Vancouver last year, but showing glimpses here of what they're capable of. Too much space there if you're a Canadian, mate. Oh man, you can't give these boys any space. It's just too much pace, too much pace, too much power. Of course, Nathan, the whole uh, series heads up back to Canada next week as the conversion goes over. You're a Vancouver boy. You got to play in that tournament in BC Place, and it's just been a, a highlight of North American rugby. You got to be looking forward to it. I guess you won't be uh, on the field, but celebrating with HSBC and uh, and family and friends. No, for sure. I'm, I, I can't wait to get there. Um, it I'm will be different. It will be different being there in the stands. Um, but I'm really excited for these boys to get the opportunity Just to be there and play. The and uh, I'm excited to see what they can do. You know, like I said, I, I think there's a lot of talent in this yeah, side, yeah, and um, sometimes it just takes an environment like that to to kind of break out. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that for them. And just give us a bit of an insight into the Coach. the kind of learnings and the messaging for the young t players that are developing and trying to get up Sit. to yeah, a level to compete with these big sides on the tour. For sure. I think, you know, 
we all had to learn on the fly on the series, especially, you know, especially uh, in Canada, where I know for some of us, the first time we ever played sevens was on the World Series. So I know a lot of these boys uh, have had the opportunity to play some junior sevens and things like that and some developmental stuff, but uh, there's nothing quite like the World Series. So they'll be learning on the fly and um, oh, crossing, yeah. Yeah, that'll be denied for Bush and Wale. Getting in the way, Brennick Prevo here is a player that has really shot to prominence. He had a brilliant tournament in, in Vancouver and Edmonton last year. Oh, I'm a big fan of uh, Brennick, big fan of his game, big fan of his, his hair, <laughs> great hair. Um, what a great guy, and I, I think he's got a huge future in the game if, if he wants to. Yeah, the hair's become a thing, speaking <laughs> of which. Thomas Isherwood, that's big in Okotoki, is it? Uh, I guess so. A lot of the Aussie boys are rocking it too. Okay, 12-7, Kenya lead Canada at half time. win this and you get a better seating in the battle for ninth place tomorrow back underway Canada right to left of course all in red but Kenya have possession off the restart Tony Omondi almost getting away is Wakesa and on the boil as well was Busham Wale and his Herman Humwa he already has a try in this match and Kenya looking to extend their lead here ball still in play who wants it Hum was there. Opportunity to swing it wide now. They might try and go straight through the middle. Ball in two hands. Offload to OU. Edmund Anya oh, scored a cracking try earlier on. Going in for the turnover and they win it to Canada. What a tackle by Brock Webster and the whole Canadian team staying connected there, Nate. Man, I love the work rate back there. So they were about four or five offloads. The Canadians matched, matched all those offloads and ended up getting the turnover. I mean, that's... They might be going to the pocket here. There's some high contact on Ngongo. Yeah, it's out of six, Kenya. I mean, that work rate's all you can ask for as a coach, and uh, I love to see it. So what could have been a try to Kenya ends up with a, a yellow card. Down to six. Power play to use an ice hockey term for Canada, and they'll look to pick up some easy meters off the boot. Let's see uh, Ngongo go in here. So Ooh, many yeah. of these players playing with the pride as well, Nathan. You know, based on Vancouver Island, under your old teammate, Phil Mack. Oh, yeah. Philly's doing a fantastic job Thank with those back. boys. A lot of these guys <laughs> were products of that. So on, to see on. them kind of go through Talk that, go through those stages and, and be here, I'm so happy for those guys. Burner wins the line out. Opportunity to get away, almost juggles it. There's... Elias Ergas, he does have plenty of speed. Couldn't get away on that occasion. Isherwood, nice feet from Thomas. Isherwood over the halfway line, but he loses the handle as well. Ergas was looming. Missed opportunity. 
Well, he is the fastest man in this squad, Ilias Ergas. Just Ishwood couldn't get away. He did well, though, before that. Those are the error counts starting to make life difficult for Canada. Here we are. Thank you. Yeah, possession's so important and pretty difficult to hold on to it. I mean, you give away decisions like that. I mean, you've got the one man advantage as well with the Hum was Simbin. You want to make it pay. Take your time. Come on, Come on. Uh, Canada taking their time, Nate, Go. with the man in the Simbin. 100%, I would be doing the same Five. thing. Right. Six. Follow the action. There are all the handles on social media. I'd love to hear from you. Post all your pictures. Do get involved. Kenya playing with six and almost through. There's Daniel Tabu. The door closed eventually. It's a knock on. Changes for both sides. Matt Awudu's coming on. So the subs are coming on, Nate. We've got a scrum for Canada. They've got an extra man for a few seconds here. What's your call? And I love, I, I think that's a, a common tactic you see these days. I know I know it was uh, not, we didn't have the option, but you see so often when, when a team's down down a man, the teams opt for the uh, the scrum rather than the, 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 tap, the quick tap because just it gives you that overlap automatically off the set piece here. So if they can use this correctly, they might be able to put Bowen into some space. Sit. Yeah, Deshaun Bowen way over on the far side in the number one shirt. He could be the target here. He's been under the tutelage of Phil Mack, as you mentioned, with the Pacific price. Slightly high ball to him, though, and here he goes. The Sean Bowen with the hitch kick, trying to get round on the outside, flings it back in field, a little too hot to handle. I think there's a little knock on from you, too. Yeah, Ergas couldn't say that one. He hasn't had the favorable balls in the last couple of minutes, has he? A little bit of an experience there from the Canadian youngsters. You know, no need to go for it. You saw those two Kenyan defenders out there on their own with basically the whole pitch to cover. Seem to be a bit more patient there in their build-up. Yeah, that awareness, Nate, of the sideline, having the geography in mind at all times, making sure you don't surrender the ball. 100%. I think it's just one of those things you, you just live and learn in this sport. I think uh, there's no players on this series who haven't made some... Uh, some. Uh, there's no players on this series who wouldn't have a, a pretty good low-light reel, uh, no matter how long you played on it. So um, it's you live and you learn. You just got to learn from your mistakes. Yeah, I remember that final so well from 2017. I think Mullen scored first for you, didn't he? Burst away. But Kenya bursting away here. Tony Amondi is going to go right under the posts. And the Africans have another one. Isherwood couldn't get there in time. And there's some daylight now between Kenya and Canada. Yeah, the 27-year-olds finished well. That's the fifth World Series event. Mondi just sniffing out the line. Entire Canadian bodies. Not impossible, mate, but a bit of work to do. Definitely not impossible. I think we've seen we've seen uh, bigger comes back come, comebacks than this, but big thing here is we gotta win this, we gotta win this kickoff. Yeah, restart's so important. We've seen some brilliant different types of restarts today. We've seen the low trajectory ones to the sideline. That that's kind of new. For sure, no, I, I, that, that's a part of the game I think is so interesting and in, in how all the teams approach it. Yeah, I saw Josh Turner score a brilliant try off the Dietrich Rotary start a little earlier today. Of course, Selwyn Davids has got a, an array of restart options, the South African playmaker. Loose ball, need to be careful here, Canada, Kenya. They're onto it again, they've got the penalty. On the ground. 19-7 up, 2.20 to go. Looking to put this one to bed. Yeah, they're going to take the scrum. Happy to slow it up. Unfortunate for the Canadians. A great take off the kickoff, but they didn't do anything with it. This one was kind of hung up to dry, Nate. Here we are. Yeah, no, then winning the kickoff, as I said, was the, the most important thing there. But then, obviously, when you're down here, we want to score there. But um, so there's still time on the clock. We'll need to get this ball back quick to, to, have, a, to have an opportunity here. Ngongo on the near side here. They need to put a big shove on, try and win the tight head. By any means, try and win the ball back. But can you have it? Here they come. Oh, the little dink through. That was cute. And it will work out for Edmund Anya. And that may well do it for Kenya for their first win of the day here in Singapore. Yeah, brilliantly executed, mate. You used to do a lot of that with Harry Jones. Just if there's no sweeper, put the ball in behind. Man, that was beautifully done. Um, yeah, no, that, that was something that a lot of the teams work on. It's just always kind of counting numbers and seeing if there is that sweeper there. And uh, 
Kenyon saw that and um, geez, that might have just taken him through to uh, yeah. third place. Yeah, good finish to this game from Kenya. Conceded early, but they've shown plenty of composure. Go, 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 That's go, go, a fine go, go. try to Anya, who looks a fine player. One of the new faces in this Kenyan side. Well, mate, just before we let you go, what's 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 tougher, training for firefighting or training for rugby sevens? Definitely training for rugby sevens. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's even tougher uh, just being here watching. I think it, it's harder, but. Uh, no, honor to be here. Thanks so much for having me in the box, guys. Really appreciate it. Well, great to have you. And thanks for all you've done for rugby. And thanks to all you're doing now as a first responder. Great to have you here, Nate. Cheers, guys. Final 30 seconds here. Another decision Mr. against Rolf. Kenya. Not much has gone Canada's way in this second Mr. half. Rolf. Had a few opportunities. All grins from the Kenyans, they're in charge. This was a match they would have targeted, and they've got the result. Yeah, been a little bit inconsistent. No Jeffrey Olawatch or Alvin Otieno here in Singapore on the roster. Might see them in Vancouver. That's a heavy carry, and here's another one, and they want to finish with another try here, Kenya, as we hear the gong for full time. That was Richard Wangila. Put it through the hands. They might be in business again. The long ball over the top. Shooting out of the line was Dashkovitz for Canada. Clock on. That ball has Clock gone on, forward. Mate. Clock is in the red. So that will do it. And Kenya have been impressive. And they have their win to close out pool play here on day one. And they can go into finals day tomorrow with a good degree of confidence.